Alright, what's up everyone? Epic Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akelang Flora 2. But yeah, back at it again on your boy Epic Game Store, and we're gonna be playing today one of the worst perks you can actually play on level 0 on some public, and that is gonna be the SWAT. I mean, to be fair, the survivalist is worse on level 0, but I just can't stand that perk. So SWAT it is. But yeah, I mean, apparently, this has been fixed on the Epic Game Store. Yeah, oh. It lagged. What are you lagging, fam? I mean, is it crashed? Is it not? I can't see. Wait, what? No, Red Man working as intended, as per usual. Oh, boy, it's actually finding games with all 999 ping. 999? Okay, this is like the big question. Can I actually go, you know, on a custom server on the Epic Game Store? Oh, wait, I can. I thought they said you can't. I mean, maybe if you have the Steam version and the Epic Games version, you can do that. And now I'm by myself playing Suicidal. Very cool. At least I'm gonna level up a little bit faster. I mean, to be honest, I didn't even see which difficulty I was playing, so... Okay, here we go. But yeah, man, a lot of servers are apparently just, like, flooded with Epic Game players. I mean, to be fair, they have to, like, start somewhere, but I mean, if they just, like, go into your Hell and Earth games, yeah, that's not... Yeah, that good for the game, because they're just, like, ruining the servers. But, I mean, to be fair, you can just, like, carry them and just get, like, more XP for yourself. And they're most likely gonna leave when they die. So, yeah, hopefully someone's actually gonna be joining this game, because I don't want to be playing by myself. Because this is, you know, actually a server and not solo. But, yeah, I mean, if you actually have, how to say, Killing Floor on Steam and you play it on the Epic Game Store, yep, you can still have... The custom servers, or should I say you can play on the custom servers. But I mean, to be fair, it is the same game, so I can't see why it's... Why you couldn't play on custom servers. Because in their forum post, yeah, they did say you can't play anything besides their official servers. Okay, that's loud. But I mean, here I am, just proving that theory freaking wrong. Okay, this is like some long-ass reload, my dudes. Not used to... A level zero SWAT. I mean, to be fair, I could have just like went hell on earth, but I mean, if someone's gonna join... And see a level zero SWAT, yeah, I don't think they're gonna be very happy about that. But, yeah, I mean, something worth mentioning on this game is that, yeah, there's just a bunch of people that are, yeah, sometimes very upset if you go and disturb them. I personally don't care who the hell joins my game. I just want to, like, play and have some fun. But, yeah, there are a bunch of people that are genuinely quite upset. I mean, rightfully so. If, I mean, if they just want to, like, try hard this game and win every single time, then I can kind of understand. I get bashed. Poise. Boy. Dude, the MP5. I don't use this thing often, but when I do, it's just so giga satisfying. And now I just have to go for this like long, long ass freaking reload. Still got him at the end. But how'd you burn me there? Poise. But yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna be joining this game because, I mean, the epic players, yeah, they probably can't even join this server if they only have this game on the epic and not on steam so yeah the only people that can join me are gonna be the ones on steam and i mean not a lot of people actually play this game nowadays so arresting pepperonis dude it's so weird i got nothing on this account i don't have like any dlc weapons i don't have any skins i mean i do have you know this dude the cheesy edar okay i did buy the mac 10 because this thing was buffed and is it worth having it buffed Meh. I mean, this thing, it is a little bit cheaper nowadays, but is it actually worth having over, I don't know, the nail gun, the P90, stuff like that, the UMP? Yeah, probably not. I mean, to be fair, I am leveling up my firebug at the same time, so that is at least one bonus. Oh, how did that bash? Oh, probably ping, right? Most likely. Okay, get away from me, I don't like you one bit, have a freaking stun. Easy. But yeah, I don't recommend starting on Suicidal for everyone that is, you know, new to the game, because you're gonna get your ass handed to you. Because I do have a lot of freaking hours in this game, and pretty much nothing can surprise me. And you know, I do know, like, pretty much all the mechanics and what the Zeds are gonna do, so I can, you know, avoid them effectively. Well then, sell that, and let's get myself, I'd know... The Heckler and Koch Oomp. And yep, here we go, the Oomp. And I guess I can skip the trader because no one is joining my freaking game. But yeah, man, I didn't read the entirety of their post, but I do think you can't actually disable, you know, the crossplay on servers. I mean, I might be wrong. I mean, you guys can let me know if you're hosting some servers. Okay, nothing's behind. 
Only Zeds are on the front where I freaking need them. Never mind. That is a gore fast, and I should probably kill the right here before he like buffs the dudes behind me, and that's gonna be bad. Oh, and here he is. Fidget. Get stunned, my dude. But yeah, man, I do love the SWAT for the nades, because you can just like temporarily slow them down. Oh, this like reload. I mean, it's not even all that kind of bad, to be honest. Kind of like a cool little animation. Something that, you know, the new weapons, even the DLC weapons, don't actually have. Because the DLC weapons, yeah, they just look half finished, to be honest. Which is quite disappointing. Oh my god, I mean, I can't believe I'm actually playing the SWAT on suicidal on a custom map on the Epic Game Store. I mean, I still to this day don't know why I even downloaded it on the Epic Game Store, but... I mean, here I am. Oh, but even in my previous episode, when I played on the Epic Game Store, I did say there was no Anton Strasser, you know, my main character. And I was actually wrong, if you actually get the Digital Deluxe Edition, he is in that, you know, Digital Deluxe Edition. But I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna pay for him again. No, protect the area, well don't mind if I freaking do. I mean, realistically, yeah, I don't think I even need the Stand Your Ground. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because Spicy Dosh... And I do want to, like, upgrade my Chris SMG. Because this thing, once it's upgraded, it's pretty, pretty sick. Dude, is suicidal actually this easy? Because, I mean, on Hell on Earth, I mean, more Zeds. I mean, to be fair, I'm just, like, playing medium here, so... It's gonna be easier for longer, I guess. Okay, you're dead. Shrapper, don't think I didn't see your shenanigans behind my ass. And he still got me for some reason. Quick little heal. And Lego. Dude, the more I'm playing the SWAT, the more I'm just like enjoying it right now. I don't know why. Okay, get killed before you grab me from the back. Gonna have to bash you. Go out of the circle, cause my mans are just everywhere for some reason. Oh god. I mean, to be fair, I'm also alone here, so that's why I can heal 50%. Instead of the usual 20 here. Okay, can you just go out of my circle? Oh, I did it. I thought the wave ended, but... Apparently not. It was all flash wound. Oh, that was a flash wound. Okay, can I kill him, though? Okay, quick little stun grenade. Got him good. Okay, this recoil is actually bad. But nothing too drastic, though. But yeah, I mean, suicidal is actually recommended for levels 20 and up. And here I am playing freaking level 3, breaking the rules. Well then, auto fill and get myself, I don't know, the HRG nail gun. Yep, this thing is most likely gonna be a beast. But yeah, I man, this is just the best SWAT loadout, to be honest. I mean, the nail gun, yeah, it's just a spray and pray weapon. You can just, like, whoop everything here. I mean, it gets, like, giga freaking good once you reach level 25. But even before that, it's pretty decent as well. I mean, not nearly as good as the Chris SMG, but... You get what I mean, both weapons are freaking powerful. But yeah, the reason this weapon is so good is because you can have, you know, the burst fire, which shoots out a bunch of nails at once. And that just like shreds every big Z if you get up close and personal. Okay. Apparently she just didn't want to die. Okay, Chris SMG time, here we are. Okay, Edars. Yep, you get the special treatment there. And by special treatment, yep, just get killed. But yeah, man, to be fair, this map is actually quite chill. Okay, I just like ran out of ammo because I don't have the magazine capacity yet. That's like the only downside of playing a low level SWAT. You just have to reload way more often than usual here, which is not like that much of a problem because I like reload like an idiot anyway, but it's what you do. Wait, what? How did you shoot me? Oh, he was, like, behind. I didn't even see that, dude. Oh, Skrooky Skrook. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm just as confused as you. Okay, Stalker get absolutely annihilated. Here we have a Skrooky Skrook and Nail Gun. Yep, he just does that. And he be dead. Okay, to Usk. Kill one, kill the other, and the last one is a Skrooky Skrook. That is just 
Kaput. But I mean, if I actually win this match, I think I'm gonna get to level 5 so I can get my first freaking skill. But I've been playing the SWAT for the boss, yes, it's just gonna be absolutely depressing, man. I mean, if I get something like an abomination, it would be a free freaking win. But I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. Well then, here we go, wave 7 out of 7. And this is gonna be most likely another piece of cake, especially if I get some, you know, quarpons and stuff like that. Guess we shall see. Oh god, that was an easy bash. Easiest bash of my life. And there's a spooder right behind. Got him. But yeah, I am gonna revive the perk guides because I did run into trouble with YouTube's freaking guidelines in the past. For just like some unknown reason, because YouTube is just the best platform to post videos on. Dude, is this even suicidal? See, I mean, to be fair, I just like picked the randomest server I could find. Didn't even like check what difficulty it was on. Okay, those are a bunch of corpons and stuff in front. Now, where should I go? Probably in the bloat. I just got puked on, whoops. I mean, that's like not a good idea, but I mean, that's what we're dealing with now. Okay, quick little stun. Didn't do anything, but I do have the nail gun though. Which does something. But yeah, I mean, the nail gun against corpons. Yeah, this is just not even fair for him. I mean, look, they're just like collapsing. I mean, what are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it would have been a little bit more difficult if actual players were, you know, joining. But sadly, that's how Killing Floor is nowadays. The only servers you're gonna find are gonna be like normal or hard. And suicidal hell on earth. Yeah, probably gonna be empty for the most part. Okay, two more Zeds, a Dar, and a Blot. And he did. But yeah, man, now we're gonna have the boss wave, and I'm kind of hoping for an abomination because he's gonna be an easy win, and I can just like level up for free. But I mean, if it's gonna be like, I know the matriarch, I might die. But I mean, I guess we shall see. Okay, I can't like upgrade anything, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, get armor first of all. Reload that, reload that, and we should be good to go. Wait, what? Okay, I just got teleported for some reason. Why do you Ooh. insist on getting in the middle of Yeah, this is not gonna be good. Okay, I can actually kiter down here because there's like a bunch of, you know, obstacles in the way. And as long as I, you know, just like avoid her stupid attacks, we should be fine. And he just like shot me, or should I say she just like shot me through the t- Alright, man. This is how we're playing, eh? Is this how we're playing? Do I have to like bait you with my attacks? Oh boy! Yeah, there's like no way to avoid that on flat freaking ground. Oh, I can avoid that though. Uh-huh. Like bait your attack. Here we are. Let's go behind the corner. Oh my god, this like ammo capacity is just so bad. Okay, okay, okay. Your shield is tot kaput. That's an Edar that I don't like. Please don't do any attacks. Ooh. Okay, I do have to kill the Edars first because they're gonna be actually giga annoying here. I think she actually spawns less of them because it's like suicidal, so this is going to be pretty, pretty chill. Now watch the- Ooh, Edar, why are you blocking the road? Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna go upstairs. Ooh. She didn't actually hit me there. Thanks, fam. I mean, I can't like even stun her. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying here, so... Okay, she doesn't have that anymore. She does have that though. Oh boy. Yep, and that's why I don't like stand in front of her stupid cannons. Okay, just do an attack there. Please. Thanks. Okay, now I just have to like kill something else first, otherwise I'm gonna die. Oh boy. Okay, attacks. Oh, don't do it up here. Oh, you stupid shit. Yeah, that's not what I was hoping for here. Okay, you can do it there though. Okay, come on. Okay, I like baited the attack, thank god for that, otherwise she would just like zap me from across the map. Okay, this is the part where she gets extremely weak, at least in my opinion. And I do have the nail gun, so we theoretically should be pretty Gucci here. You can't grab that, can you? No, you can't. Nice one. Okay, get a little bit closer, you piece of shit. Here we are, you're just gonna swing and miss, as expected. Ooh, she can grab that though. Boy, oh, she did actually hit me, nice. And now she's doing the sonic attack, which is the most devastating attack she has. But if she misses, she is so bad. Easy. I mean, look, if you actually win a suicidal match on your own, on like medium, you're gonna get to level 5. But I mean, like I said, I don't recommend you guys 
you know, beginning players to just like go and jump into suicidal because it's probably not going to be very good for you. Well then, this was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I think I'm gonna be doing a bit more videos on the Epic Games Store for some reason. I mean, I just have a feeling that I'm just like, you know, a new player in this game. And for the next video, I guess I'm just gonna go for, you know, some public matches for once. I mean, fair enough, I was playing on a server now and no one joined. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe and see you guys next episode. Adios.